In your automated visual tests, you want to make sure that your screenshots are reliable and sound. And there's a couple of examples where uh, that will be more challenging depending on the browser you're using. Uh, things that have to do with dynamic uh, behavior with JavaScript are the most likely culprits. Things like a floating menu where there is a top navigation bar here, and when you scroll, the menu bar stays uh, within the viewport. And there's also things like an infinite scroll where no matter where you are, when you get to the bottom of the page, more content will be fed into the DOM. And what can happen is your screenshots could be littered with unnecessary uh, content and cause false positives uh, in your test failures. Let's step through a couple of examples to show you how to uh, know when to sidestep these issues. Here we have a Ruby RSpec test script that gives us an instance of Firefox and connects to Apple Tools Eyes using a layout uh, match level of layout 2. Uh, and then each test is connecting to each example and capturing a screenshot. So if we were to run this, um, we'd actually see that Firefox uh, gives us full page screenshots for free um, without any of these visual anomalies. And here is a quick snapshot of that. So the menu bar uh, appeared as we would hope only once at the top of the page uh, where it appears when we first load the page. And um, the cool thing here is that Firefox actually has an ability to take a full page screenshot without triggering any scroll events. So Apple Tools Eyes doesn't have to do any magic on their end to make this happen. They get the screenshot in its entire form. So there's no scrolling, uh, so the menu bar stays in place, and there's also no scroll bars since there's no scrolling. And uh, for infinite scroll, no scroll events were also triggered because it just took a snapshot of what was visible within the DOM uh, when the page was loaded. Um, so infinite scroll is not triggered. So Firefox is the easy one. Um, now let's switch to Chrome. So if we just run this as is, um, it will work, um, but we won't actually get full page screenshots. So this is the floating menu example, uh, and all it did was grab um, what was visible based on uh, the viewport of the browser window when the test was running. And, uh, and the same thing happens for, for infinite scroll. Um, so if we want full page screenshots, we actually have to enable it with Chrome within Apple Tools Eyes. And to do that, um, there are two different methods that we want to apply. There's force full page screenshot equals true and use CSS transition equals true. And um, if you don't enable the CSS transition, then uh, what will happen is actually the floating menu bar will appear numerous times. Um, and that's because when you're not using CSS transitions, uh, Apple Tools Eyes is actually using Selenium to scroll the page, capture a screenshot each time, and then stitch it together. And when that happens, it's triggering a scroll event, which is triggering the menu. And just so you can see it, it looks like this. And even with layout to enable, it fails because now there's this new visual anomaly occurring. So you can see the menu appearing numerous times. And so this is clearly not helpful. Um, and so uh, that's why we use a CSS transition, which actually does not trigger a scroll event. It just moves uh, that, the next portion of the, the DOM into the viewport and takes a screenshot without having to actually scroll. Um, both options uh, will actually work with infinite scroll because we're just um, grabbing the, the amount that's visible within the viewport and for the infinite scroll example that we're showcasing, um, you actually have to scroll outside of the viewport to trigger um, con more content to be loaded. So both options, using CSS transitions or not, would work for infinite scroll. So if we save this and run it, and then hop over to our test dashboard in Apple Tools Eyes. We can see our two most recent tests ran and passed, and the floating menu example using Chrome with these new options enabled took a full page screenshot just like we saw within Firefox. And the menu bar only appears once now, and no scroll events were triggered, so there's no scroll bar uh, issues to account for on the right-hand side. Um, and our infinite scroll 
appears just as it did before, the contents of what was in the viewport, uh, and nothing more. And um, it's point of order, if you did actually see swirl bars um, and you wanted to address them, there is a method you can add to your test to account for that just in case. It's eyes dot hide scroll bars equals true. But in this case, we don't need to use it. And we're able to get the screenshots that we intend for both Firefox and Chrome.